you want to create a form with which employees can request a telephone. The form designer lets you create forms that always provide the right information about standard requests or calls. When you open the form designer, you can click through to the current call and change forms, or you can create a new call or change form. We're going to create a form with which employees can request a new phone. Here you select a new change form because this lets you start a standard workflow. In the form designer, we see an empty design area. On the left side, you can see the various components you can add to the form by dragging them to the design area. First, we are going to name the form. If you want to give the caller more information, you can add text about the order procedure, for instance. We are now going to add the caller block so the caller sees that the request is registered in his or her name. You can determine which caller details are visible and whether the caller can edit them. To keep the form as straightforward as possible, we are going to hide a number of fields. The caller can edit his or her own phone number and email address. For this request, the caller needs to provide specific information, so we're going to add a number of questions. First, an open question to get more details about the reason for the request. As soon as you have dragged the question to the right location, you can type the question. We are going to make this question mandatory, meaning the caller always has to answer this question before submitting the form. We want to know what type of phone the caller needs, so we add a radio button list. You can specify the number of answer options by clicking on the plus sign. To keep your form organised, you want to show as little text as possible but some questions might require some additional information. Using the information icon, you can easily add information to a question. In this case, it is important to know that the smartphone does not include an internet plan, so we add this information. The smartphone does not include an internet plan. When the form includes a lot of questions, it could be a good idea to add structure to the form with headings. With this form, the caller can order additional features for their phone. We are going to add a header. These extras are optional, so we are going to add checkboxes with which the caller can tick his preferences. Now we can save the form and publish it in the self-service desk. You can even add the form to the start page. Now the caller can easily find all the forms. When John Dean logs into the self-service desk, he can see the form you just created in the button overview on the start page. Your form is displayed as follows. The caller sees his details and can edit his phone number and email address like you specified. He knows exactly which information he needs to enter and can then submit the form. A new request for change is directly made, including all the filled in details. The form designer not only lets you create a form with the questions you want, you can also make sure the form is easily processed. Let's go back to the form we just created via the Change Forms overview. The right side of the form designer features a processing block. Everything that is filled in here will be visible on the change card when the form is submitted. For instance, let's enter a brief description. We will also choose a category and subcategory. You can also select a change template. The change template we select here will be automatically applied when the form is submitted. This means that all activities are assigned to the right operator and can be processed immediately. In this panel, you can see what the request field will look like when the form is submitted. We're going to save the form. The form still looks identical in the self-service desk, but when it is submitted, all the information is filled in and the operator can get straight to work.